building the future of always on contextual ai assistant that can actively help humans in various situations digitize inputs as episodic memories and forecast future plans in an online continuous setting represents one of the holy grail missions in ai research powered by advancements in all of these llms recent large multimodal modem have unveiled impressive capabilities such as vision language dialogue spatial understanding processing diverse modalities like open ai gpt4 v gpt4 o and there are various other models from various companies but even the most advanced gpt4 o has only achieved streaming voice driven multimodal assistance that is why it is time to envision an always on contextual jarvis like video assistant that supports free form user assistant dialogue within the video stream and that is where this new project the video llm enters this project is quite interesting it is a first streaming model with high speed on a100 gpu or 3090 gpu on long form videos by long form i mean 10 minutes with state of the art performance on an online offline settings it is best described by a diagram if you look here this is where some sort of inference is happening in a flow way so these are the examples of zero shot of their video llm online applied to an ego centric video stream from ego xo4d data set their model is designed for temporally aligned long context real time dialogue in continuous video streams shedding light on the future always on contextual ai assistant that is smart ear glasses model responses are appropriately simplified for better visualization now if you look at this diagram this gives us some more hint this is a training method in their live framework they have organized the user assistant dialogue data and video frames in temporal order as a input sequence and to learn the model when to answer or keep silent in a video stream they have employed not only the standard language modeling loss but also introduce a streaming eos prediction loss this additional loss supervises the model when it is necessary to generate language enabling it to produce temporally aligned responses and reduces the redundant dialogue history also the data side of thing is quite interesting too if you look at this diagram this is where the streaming dialogue data generation method is in play they have randomly inserted templated questions into the video timeline and have exposed the ground truth video annotations along with their time steps to llms prompting them to answer the queries within a period of time and due to the setup they have some video data set such as ego for d narrations are inherently collected in a streaming manner with annotators providing real time narrations as they watch a 5 minute long video clip and i really like that training method also the previous research has predominantly focused on learning from short discrete clips for example just uh, from 30 to frames rather than in a continuous streaming context for this data set they have followed the same instructions provided to human annotators as their model training prompt this prompt instructs the model to simulate human annotators to streamingly generate narrations in a 5 minute video which is around 600 frames in 2 fps also they have utilized llama 2 13 billion chat or llama 3 8 billion instruct to rephrase the narration text correcting grammatical errors and typos and converting it into a more understandable version now there is another training method which they have used and let me quickly show you that one too in this training framework in their live um, demo they have organized the user assistant dialogue and in data and video frames in temporal order as a input sequence to learn the model when to answer or keep silent in a video stream they have employed not only the standard language modeling loss but also introduce a streaming eos prediction loss it's the same thing but with a different angle now the story doesn't end here also the model architecture is quite in interesting 
Similar to Lava, it comprises three key components, an image encoder, an MLP projector, and a language model. For the image encoder, they have utilized clip encoder, and similarly, they have also extracted frame embeddings from the image encoder. Also, when it comes to inference, they have used probability correction, continuous key value cache, and lot of other stuff, which is very well documented in their paper, and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So I'm quite excited about this because this paper proposes learning in video stream or live, which is a new framework empowering LLMs to handle streaming video to produce temporal aligned answers hold long context video duration and have high inference efficiency. They have used live to train a simple video LLM online model, which not only achieves superior capability in online offline vision language tasks, but also enable fast inference for an online video streaming setting. They believe enabling such abilities will be an important step to move towards always on online assistant. Also in the future, they have a plan to make their video LLM more general and improve its spatial capability in zero shot prediction for downstream applications so all in all amazing stuff the only thing is that their github repo says that their uh, hugging face space is coming in 24 hours and checkpoint coming in 48 hours i have been checking still it's not there so maybe i will keep checking and as soon as my uh, i get my hands on it i'm going to make another video to see how exactly this thing works because it seems really cool so that's it guys i will drop the link to this repo in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching